Hey everybody, it's Jennifer from PopPieGirl.com coming back to you with another video. Uh, it's Masters Week for the PGA and that's a special time for me and my husband. We love the Masters and love golf. So in honor of that, I not only did some of my wonderful graphic skills, but I also included a little picture of me playing golf when we were in Myrtle Beach playing in a couples tournament. Just for the record, that was a swing made just for the camera. It was not me really hitting the ball, so that's why I look a little a little whack there. Uh, anyway, today I want to talk about pages on the Squidoo site that are already using the keywords you want to use. Some people have asked me, what does it matter? Why, why should you care? I, I, I want to show you a few things. Okay, this is the Squidoo site. If you search sitesquidoo.com, you see they've got 1.5 million pages plus going on in the index of Google, and there's no telling how many pages are not in the Google index. Um, if you say you want to do dog training tips, Google is showing there's already 518 pages in the Squidoo site alone that are talking about dog training tips. You might be thinking, so what? You know, mine will rank better than theirs. It might. You might have to work, no, you will have to work really hard to get your Squidoo lens to come up in the Google index, let alone where it ranks in Google, but just to be shown. Google is only going to pick one or maybe two lenses to put together in a top ranking for a keyword search. So let's forget about Squidoo for a minute. Let's just take a look at my site. P-I-P-I-Girl.com uh, Google's saying they've got all over 330 pages from my site in the index. Not bad. Um, what's some stuff I talk about? Yeah, Squidoo Lens Index. That's a big topic on my blog. I've got 110 pages in the Google index that are on that topic. Are they going to pick all of them if you type in Squidoo Lens Index? Just like this? No, they pick two actually in this case, but it, most of the time it's one, maybe two. Um, what's another one? Uh, oh, cost to make money online. Yeah, that, that's a big topic I have also. I like to talk about it doesn't cost much. It's 65 pages, but if you search for just that. Uh, there I am, number three. Ooh, out of 132 million. I'm telling you, I'm on to something. Um, here is one that I used for an example when I was showing you how I do my keyword research. Keyword marketing research. 103 pages on my site, but if you just search for this out in the big bad world of Google by itself, uh, I was here. Yeah, there I am. Page one looks like uh, number eight out of 13.9 million. It works. If you pay attention to your competition, it works. If you only try and get through openings instead of trying to bust through a mountain, you don't have to work so hard. This is a very competitive term right here. You can look at some of these website names alone and to be sitting here is actually very impressive to me right now. <laughs> if you take the time before you ever make a lens, before you even ever get a URL to take a look to see what it's going to take, it will go a long way for you. And it is not just Squidoo. Easy in articles, 2.1 million. If you type in keyword marketing research, they've got over 4,300 pages, but guess how many Google's going to show for that search? Uh, they got one, don't they? Yeah, right here. They show one, just one. Do just a few minutes of research before you start making a lens or an easy article. It will help you out tremendously and make your life so much easier. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out of time. It's always five minutes or less for Pot Pie Girl. Uh, it's Jennifer from PotPieGirl.com. Stop by and see me and have a great day.